What is up guys, Punchfly here, and today we're going to be hopping on Operation Scorpion, and I'm going to be showing you guys the best class setup, because a lot of you guys have been asking me in the comments, what's my favorite weapon, what should I be using, everything like that. So I'm going to be showing you guys, I'm going to be showing you guys everything uh, that I use for my class setup. Also, this would be very useful for you guys, because this does help with recoil control as well. We're going to be using the SCAR right here, the SCAR-L, the MK-16 SCAR-L. Uh, you unlock this at level 3, as you can see right here. So after you get level 3 in this game, you can go here, and it should be... Uh, in your inventory down here after that you just want to equip it and then go ahead and start putting an optic on it now like I said even in my Phantom Forces video setups everything like that optic is personal preference if you're somebody that likes using a cogs then go with the a cog if you're somebody that likes using reflex sight then you go with that if you like hollow then you go with that the reflex sight or not the reflex sight the sight in general is more personal preference instead of going over stats as you can see right here, as we're swapping through these two, nothing changes. When you put on the ACOG, the weight changes, aim time, all of that changes. So that means you're going to aim slower. The mavification is going to be a, uh, a little bit closer. So when you're aiming, it's going to be a little bit closer to enemies. And the weight is going to be a little bit heavier. If you guys don't know, the weight in this game makes it where you run a little bit slower if you have a heavy gun. So keeping your gun light is pretty important, honestly. I personally like to go with the reflex sight because that's what I like to use in this game on all my weapons. Next up, going over to the grip, we're going to be putting on an angle grip because if you look here, uh, this is the default recoil, recoil recovery, everything like that. And when it comes to recoil in this game, you want to have the recoil as low as possible and the recoil recovery as high as possible. When you throw a grip on here, an angle grip, look how low the uh, recoil drops and look how uh, high the recoil recovery goes up. That means less recoil and easier to control the recoil that's left on the gun. The spread really isn't that important. It's not too bad. Uh, it's pretty controllable. It might take you a full game to kind of figure out how the spread works, but it, it's really not noticeable, if I'm going to be honest with you. And for the muzzle, the barrel that we're going to be using is actually a suppressor. Now, the suppressor increases its damage by quite a bit, honestly. It goes from 44 all the way up to 47. So that's a pretty good damage increase. Not only does it increase the damage, it also decreases the recoil and it increases the recoil recovery. So this is getting your gun up to 3.5 recoil recovery, which is almost the highest that you can get in this game. That's pretty good. Just keep in mind that your damage does drop off by a good 100, it seems like. Yeah, by a good 110. So keep that in mind. Now we have our whole setup here. I'm going to go over to pistols real quick. I just like to throw a suppressor on it. That's all. Um, I can't wait till we get camos in this game, by the way. And then for the dance, I'm using the default club. Not default, but the clubber, which was how much? I think it was like 35 Robux or something like that. It was just too, too good not to buy, you know? Anyways, let me hop into a game and kind of show you guys how this class setup works. Wait, guys, there's a new map. Well, not new map. It's the old yacht from the first edition of the game. I'm going to go ahead and pick this one so we can kind of play it a little bit. Uh, so you guys can kind of see what the old maps were like compared to what the maps are now. I promise you the maps that are newer, that are fixed up, and they look a lot better. And they're way better in, in general. To be honest with you, this map currently, Yacht, is not ready for search and destroy where you plant the bomb or anything like that. It, in my opinion, needs to be slightly bigger. Um, and the, the bomb placements really aren't that good. This isn't really one of those maps that I can kind of show you guys how good a certain gun is or anything like that. Mainly because the gunplay isn't that amazing on this map in general. I swear I heard footsteps. Uh, I think that's below, actually. I got him. My aim was so bad right there. I didn't get bomb. Alrighty. Bomb has been planted. Got him, boys. Yeah, but this map. I'm just going to kind of zoom through this. I'm not going to really show you guys long rounds or anything like that. I'm kind of zoomed to kills to get this game over with uh, because you guys kind of get an idea. But I wasn't going to win that vote over Yacht, so I just voted for it anyways. Now, this angle right here is what I was talking about. In my opinion, they need to fix this really badly because it makes it where people can't really push through this map that well. There's like a little opening over here that people sometimes use. Not everybody knows about it, I don't think. 
Either they're in that doorway, because there's definitely was three of them, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I was hearing that guy above me. Yo, I'm gonna be honest with you. I kind of wish these would disappear when you aim in. So you have no, nothing blocking your way. If you get what I mean. I'm gonna see if I can get that fixed, if they can do that. Because if they can, that would be amazing. That's one thing I wish Phantom Forces would do because sometimes you get that big hill sign on your screen that just won't go away. And it's really annoying when you go to aim at somebody and you just can't get it to go away. Look how I can control that from that far away. So good, dude. I'm telling you, this if you can't control the recoil on this one, you guys still have to... Have to pull down, by the way. You still have to pull down on your mouse while you're shooting, but not as much as, like, the M4 or the SIG. Got him. Let's reload real quick. It sounds like there's more over here, so I'm going to push this out. I can't plant the bomb. Hey, let's go, Metro. I love Metro so much. There's just so many, like, bugs that are in it currently. Like, a bunch of glitch spots that you can use to get kills on people. Not everybody knows them, but when you get somebody that plays the game a decent amount, uh, they will use them against you, which kind of sucks. So, uh, that's one issue about this map. But, they're going to be fixing them, so that's not too bad. One thing that I like to peek here, I don't do it every single round, but usually the first round, I kind of like to go right here, see if anybody likes pushing this area. I don't see many people running down the right side of the blue tarp to go over here, though. So, that's that's one thing I never see anybody do. Kind of feel like it might be a little bit too far from their spawn for them to run all the way over here. But it has to be balanced where we can actually make it to that door if we're on the planting side. I have bombs, so I'm going to go ahead and plant right now. Or not. Dude, I'm so annoyed at this bomb thing. I was 100% already here. Somebody shooting at me? I was I was 100% there first grabbing the mob, bomb and I didn't get it. Yo, what up? What's happening? Teammates just shooting each other or what? One thing that got him boys. One place on this map over here is so hectic. Like, this is going to be an interesting place to push out of. I kind of feel like they need to revamp it a little bit. Maybe put some props in the way. I don't know. But right now, it's so easy to just die over here, in my opinion. Because, like, you can see through the door and everything. Hey, let's go, boys. Killing it. Hey. Yeah, but the reason why this class is so good, in my opinion, is that you could just spray from across the map. And really control it pretty easily. This guy in the bush? He is in the bush. Uh oh. Uh oh. Please tree save me. I thought I seen somebody in the bush over there, but there wasn't. There is one in the bush. I knew I seen somebody. I need to. When I think I see somebody, I need to just shoot at it, dude. I swear I seen his head move around by the bush. Go ahead and drop. No, I don't want to be on the ladder. Please, God, just let me down. That ladder, you just move so slow that it's not worth being on the ladder ever. Let's plant this bomb, get this XP. Bomb has been Yo, this glare is a little bit too much in my opinion. You can't see anything really. Yeah, but as you guys can see, this gun is, is honestly super good. And compared to the M4 or the SIG in the game, the recoil is a lot less. Um, if anything, there's a little bit more side-to-side -side recoil uh, than you know vertical going up and down. Um, you do still have to pull down though, so keep that in mind. If the recoil is so bad for you guys and you can't use an automatic, press, um, I believe it's B. If you press B, it changes your, uh, select fire to single and just become one of those people that tap fire. And keep in mind being a ta somebody that tap fires, we finally got on the office map, but there's nobody in here. So hopefully people will quick match and get in here. Oh, there we go. We got a 2v2. I love playing this map when it's like a full match, 7v7. It gets a little bit hectic because it's, in my opinion, this game is made for 5v5. But this is for casuals in competitive mode when they when they get finished with that. Um, this will actually be 5v5. 
So I'm excited to see what all that's like. I have no idea how these guys play. The first round is figuring out how people play. Most people that you play in casual matches will... Oh, well, I should say people that aren't better or... How do you want to put it? Pretty much people that play in casual matches are pretty much... They all pretty much play the same in a way. They'll play the same spots multiple times. So you kind of just have a place to peek each time. A smarter player would peek here, right? And then they would switch positions to maybe here or even way up here um, or way up there. The which is something that a lot of good players do. You might not see me do that a lot because in my opinion, I'm my aim's a little bit better than others when I play casuals. If I'm playing against better players, I will be switching positions and things like that. But as of now, it is not needed for me to do that. So I kind of just play super reckless and run straight to spawns uh, as of now. There could be a second one here. That was a dead body. Actually kind of freaked me out. Not sure. Oh, this guy probably pushed out, huh? He did. Alrighty. Good round. I headshotted him. I, I don't know what more to tell you guys. None of my bullets are registering on that guy. Literally, I headshotted him when my... I, I was I feel like my teammate's blood was registering as he was still there or something. Because my first lean against him was a headshot. Eliminate the opposition or defend the so I don't know what happened there. That was weird. I'm also going to leave that window there so that we have... So I have extra cover. Because you can't penetrate through windows yet. It acts as a, a block. Hey, I'm pretty sure we just won. Yeah, there we go. It sucks that this is only a 2v2 right now. The lobby is not really filling up at all. Like, it, Oh, here we go. It's, sweet, it's filling up a little bit. Hopefully the guy's on the opposite team though. Usually I would pre-fire this angle both of these angles but they haven't been pushing here at all so i really don't see a point in really pre-firing it there we go boys Alright boys, try to get this bomb down. Bomb has been planted. Let's go boys. We got it, boys. Let's go. Bomb has been planted. Ah, see, we got this. Let's go, boys. I think we just got the round again. Bomb has been diffused. Oh, I've been clutching up for my team uh, uh, quite a bit this game. Hey, let's go. GG.
Alrighty, boys. I'm in the video right here. I just want to say thank you guys for all the support yesterday. I really do appreciate it. Also, if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see more class setups like this, maybe with the SIG or other class setups in general, you can put guns down below if you guys want to see certain setups on those as well. You can put all that below. But I'm going to end the video right here. I really do appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. It means a lot. I love you guys. Thank you for all the support. Peace out.